What about the actual pipeline of software engineering? How easy it is to keep updating Atlas, like do continuous development on it. So how many computers are on there? Is there a nice pipeline? It's an important part of um, building a team um, around it, which means, you know, um, you need to also have software tools, simulation tools, you know, so um, we have always made strong use of uh, physics-based simulation tools to do uh, some of this calculation, basically test it in simulation before you put it on the robot, but you also want the same code that you're running in simulation to be the same code you're running on the hardware. And so even getting to the point where it was the same code going from one to the other, we probably didn't really get that working until, you know, a few years, several years ago. Mm. Um, but that was a, you know, that was a bit of a milestone. And so you want to work, certainly work these pipelines so that you can make it as easy as possible and have a, a bunch of people working in parallel, especially when, you, you know, we only have, you know, four of the Atlas r robots, the modern uh, Atlas robots at the company. And, you know, we probably have, you know, 40 developers there all trying to gain access to it. And so you need to, share resources and use some of these, uh, some of the software pipeline. Well, that's a really exciting step to be able to run the exact same code and simulation as on the actual robot. Uh, how hard is it to do a realistic simulation, physics-based simulation of, of, of Atlas such that, I mean, the, the dream is like, if it works in simulation, it works perfectly in reality. <laughs> how hard is it to sort of close, keep working on closing that gap? The root of some of our physics-based simulation tools really started at MIT, and um, we built some 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 good physics-based modeling tools there. The early days of the company, we were trying to develop those tools as a commercial product, so we continued to develop them. It wasn't a particularly successful commercial product, but we ended up with some nice physics-based simulation tools so that when we started doing legged robotics again, we had a really nice tool to work with. And the things we paid attention to were were things that weren't necessarily handled very well in the commercial tools you could buy off the shelf, like mm -hmm. like interaction with the world, like foot ground contact. And so trying to model those contact um, events well in a way that captured the important parts of, of the interaction w was a really important element uh, to get right. And to also do in a way that was computationally feasible. Um, and could run fast because if you if your simulation runs too slow, you know then your developers are sitting around waiting for stuff to run and compile. So it, it's always about efficient, uh, uh, fast operation as well. So that's been a big part of it. You know, I think developing those tools in parallel to the development of the of the platform and trying to scale them has has really been uh, essential. I'd say to us being able to assemble a team of people that could do this. Yeah, how to simulate contact, period. So foot ground contact, but sort of for manipulation. Um, because don't you want to model all kinds of surfaces? Yeah, so it will be even more complex with manipulation because there's a lot more going on, yeah. you know? And you need to capture, I don't know, things slipping and moving, you know, in, in, your, in your hand. Um, it's a level of complexity that I think goes above foot ground mm -hmm. uh, contact when you really start doing dexterous manipulation. So there's challenges ahead still. So how far are we away from me being able to walk with Atlas in the sand along the beach <laughs> and us both drinking a beer? <laughs> So, uh, out maybe, of a can, out of a can. Maybe Atlas could spill his beer because he's got nowhere to put it. <laughs> uh, Atlas could walk on the sand. Uh, so can it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, you know, have we really had him out on the beach? You know, we take them outside often, you know, rocks, hills, that sort of thing, even yeah. just around our lab in Waltham. We probably haven't been on the sand, but I'm... I, so soft I, surfaces. I don't doubt that we could deal with it. Uh, we, we, we might have to spend a little bit of time to sort of make that work.